guys. So today I wanted to share with you 10 things that I have found um, were either good gifts that were given to us, gifts that we got for our kids that we feel like they use all the time um, or have stood the test of time or things we've given to other kids that we feel um, they have really enjoyed, things like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old, so these gifts are that age range, like the toddler, beginning pre-toddler and beginning preschool age. Boys and girls, I have both types of toys. Um, the prices of the toys, I would say, range from $10 to $50. So it's a pretty broad range. Some of these, if you're a good shopper, you could get for less than $10. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to share is um, I really love, we have several different sets of the Melissa and Doug Wood play toys and I love every single one of them. Um, my kids play with them a lot. Anytime we give them for a gift, the person who gets it loves it. It's just something, we have a play kitchen um, and I just feel like a lot of these things go great for pretend play. Um, so we actually are giving one of these as a gift and we also got one for my son um, because I love that this one um, is to practice cutting also and you can even um, branch out and um, as they get older like do fractions once they're out of like that pretend play stage you could do fractions and I mean the possibilities with this are endless so I love these um, I really like we have the pancake one, that one is my daughter got as a birthday gift and that one's awesome. Um, also, uh, other than the Melissa and Duck brand, the Hape brand, they sell, it's, it's pronounced, it's spelled H-A-P-E. They're sold on Amazon and those are wonderful. I love that brand as well. And then I also love the Kid Craft brand. They sell some really great things. So you can buy these on Amazon, Target, TJ Maxx. But if you are looking for other things to branch out of Melissa and Doug, HAPE, H-A-P-E, has awesome things. I love their stuff. Um, I have their coffee set, and it's just great for pretend play. So pretty much any wooden kitchen items for pretend play, I think, are amazing, and I love them. The next thing um, both of my kids got as gifts when they were... I would say under one, both of them got it around six months old, and they still both play with theirs. And it's the Violet and Scout. My daughter has the purple Violet, and this is my son's. And they each got it as Christmas gifts when they were under one, and they both still love them. So I think this is so sweet. You can plug it into the computer, and it shares like you could put in their name, their favorite things, and. I just think it's really cute. There's other versions of these like by different brands and we even had some of those other brands and we ended up donating those and keeping these because I feel like this one is the best one out of those on the market. So that's from Leapfrog and there's the purple one that is Violet and Scout. And that's a lot of fun and Leapfrog has other things so it's cool because you create an account then it remembers all the things of your child so the next thing is I want to share some um, things from the B toy brand it's B and then a period toys so um, most of the times I find that they're the least expensive at Target Target has them a lot of times on clearance or on sale um, and Amazon does sell them but I feel like a lot of times they're a lot more expensive on Amazon. So let me go ahead and show you. These are three different toys that I am sharing with you by that brand. These we've given as gifts um, and we've also received them as gifts and love them. So let me go ahead and show you. The first one is a set of B cars. I just brought one out but there is a set of four. We've given this as a um, gift to my nephew and then we also have found them at the thrift store for my son. Um, but they're just like the, there's four different cars. This is the truck. And what you do is like you pull it back and it goes forward. But they're just, they each make different sounds. Like this one jingles and they make different sounds. And they're just very substantial. They're like rubbery. So if you still have like when my son was younger, even now, sometimes they'll like chew on them and they're fine. 
but then he can still play with them too. And my daughter loves them too, but my son is really, really into cars and he absolutely loves it. So there's that. And then the next item is the B drum set. We use this on a daily basis. I believe, I don't have all the instruments here with me, but I believe it brings five different things. It brings like a shaker, a tambourine, another jingle bell instrument, and um, drumsticks. And then what I've also done is I have purchased more instruments for my kids, and I just put them in this drum, and it fits perfectly fine. So I love that I could keep all the instruments for the kids in here. But they play with every single one of the instruments it brought. I had to put the drumsticks away just for my son because he is younger and he still is walking and crawling. So I don't want him to like choke on one of the sticks or something like that. Like it go down his mouth. But um, but they love they do love the sticks. But I had to hide them. The next big toy um, is a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it's one of those timeless toys that will last through many, many years. My daughter was given this, let me pull it out. It's pretty heavy, it's the Bee Zany Zoo. And my daughter was given this for, um, I think it was her first Christmas by my grandmother. And it has just like the letters, um, it has different animals, different things that you could do for those fine motor skills. But then I also, now that my daughter's learning her letters, sometimes I'll pull this and it's a fun way to review the letters with her. My son loves it. He loves playing with the beads on top. So they both use it. They're both different ages, different genders, but they both love the toy and play with it in different ways. And I've noticed that this is the type of toy where it grows with you. The next thing is more um, geared towards my daughter. My son is still a little bit too young, but it is just like magnetic, the magnetic uh, sets. These are again by Melissa and Doug. Um, this is one of the sets. My daughter has a few different sets, but this is one of them. And it just has like the doll and then like the clothing and you dress them up and you could put boy, uh, bows and different things. And then they do have a boy version of this. The pieces are still too small for my son, so I just have the girl one. But I also have, there is one that is like poli a police officer, a mail carrier, a firefighter. And it's like different jobs. And then there's one that I actually would like to get for my daughter probably next year. Where you, to, it's to learn like the different parts of the body. And you could put that on it. And anytime I pull one of these out, she'll play with it for like an hour. And just sit there and play with it and do different things and stuff like that. So I really like these. I especially like this one because it comes in the carrying case. So it makes it really compact and easy. So I love those. The next thing is, oh and these... A lot of times you can, this one was a little bit more expensive because it was like the double pack, but a lot of times you can buy these for less than $10 at like TJ Maxx. The next thing is something my daughter received for her first birthday, but my son and daughter, I would say, are always fighting over it. And it is just a ride-on car. Like I said, my daughter still uses it. This is the one we had, um, someone gave her. And it's just the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse one. This one is super good quality. One of the other things that I um, we love are the Little People toys by Fisher Price. We have several. We have their camping set, their pirate set. Um, we have a lot of them. But I would say the all-time favorite in our house is the castle. Um, both of the kids love them. We have the accessories to go with them. So that's really popular. I love that I don't have to worry about my son choking on this stuff. Um, I did get the pirate ship more like, like for him. So it's not like all pink all the time. Um, so they love like the little people and it's just a big, big hit in our house. The next thing that has been really popular in our house for the kids is just train sets. We have this train set that I just keep in a container on top of one of uh, our like toy storage um, things. This one's by Kid Craft, and it just brings like the train tracks, and then um, it brings like the little houses, and then it brings like the actual train. And I love this one because it's. Big enough where it's fun to play with, but it's not like huge to store. 
And I also love that you can add on, like Kitcraft has other sets where you could add on to this one. And I believe this one was $20. So I think it was like a great, my daughter got this as a gift and I think it's a great starter train set. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys is books. I love books. I am very pro reading. We read throughout the day. And I am one of those people that thinks that you should start reading to your kid when they're babies because that's how they'll get a love for reading, you know. Um, you instill love for reading by reading to them always. So we are always reading books in our house. Um, and my favorite books, I love, there's so many and it was hard for me to narrow it down. Um, I'm not saying these are our favorite books. I'm just saying right now these are the ones we're using the most. But I still have, I could do a whole nother video on my favorite books. But um, I, I no longer, I, I'm, I love my favorite types of books are the Usborne books because I feel like, I've talked about them in other videos, I feel like a lot of them are very, they contain a lot of facts, but they still keep the, keep the kids' attention. So for my son, who is one, his favorite are the uh, That's Not My Dot, the That's Not series. There's tons of these. These are touch and feel books, and they really keep him engaged. They're probably the few books that keep him engaged because I just, like, he's still really young. So any of the touch and feel, like even none Usborne, he likes, but I would say the Usborne are his favorite. And I like that they just have a few more words than your typical um, touch and feel books. And there's a whole series of these, and I believe these are $9.99, but a lot of times they have, like, deals and stuff with those. And then I really also like the Baby's First Fairy, like the slide books. These are really great too. These don't have as many words, but he really likes them um, too. Then for my daughter, my all-time favorite books are the Shine a Light books. I think we have like five or six of these. And the reason I love these is because they contain tons and tons and tons of facts. They're nonfiction books. But what's cool is you take a flashlight and you shine the light on this page and it'll peek through on the, like as what you're reading, it'll peek through. So my daughter will be like holding the flashlight and shining it. So it keeps her really engaged. My son is still too young for these, but um, I love them. So, and then some non usborn books that we really enjoy are these storybook collections. These my daughter has really gotten into. I'd say she started getting into these around each two. And then we also have the Mickey Mouse ones. So I hope you found this gift guide helpful. I know it was a lot of information, but sometimes when it comes to picking out gifts, I know you can be like on the fence and you're like, I don't know if these are good ideas or not. But these are the, I really try to pick things that both of my kids are enjoying. They're different ages, different genders, things we've given as gifts. So. These, I feel like, are the tried and true toys in our house. So, I hope you found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for another Vlogmas video tomorrow.